going on everybody this is Raptor Dad Gaming and in this video we're going to go over the F22 V3 by Grinelli Designs. Let's get started. First we're going to talk about some known issues. Unfortunately we did lose the FCS override which was an awesome feature that gave us some additional pitch authority. The team's working to restore that functionality but it could take a while before a fix is implemented so just keep your eyes peeled and remain patient. Next, the flight model itself. You can now rip the wings when you're traveling greater than 620 knots, very similar to the F-15C. The next lone issue is the pre-G warm-up rollout. When you get to this particular point in a roll before you do a pre-G warm-up, for some reason the screen will go black. That's the majority of the known issues. There may be others, but those are the main ones that have been highlighted thus far. Next, we'll highlight some key improvements of this version of the Raptor. First, nose wheel steering authority. We no longer have to worry about spinning around aimlessly like a spinning top or anything. Now the nose wheel steering authority is a little bit more realistic and we can make some pretty cool cinematics like this scene here. Next is overall acceleration. Though we lost the ability to have the high pitch authority, it seems like it was replaced with increased kinematics, specifically acceleration. If you've seen the F-22 at an air show, you'll know that this pass is pretty accurate as far as how fast it can accelerate. This will change how you have to fight with it in BVR and BFM engagements, but it's still a very deadly aircraft. Additionally, what? this might be separate, but we do have the ability to use the AIM-9XX and the AIM-120Ds seen here. That was the AIM-9XX shot there in particular. The aircraft does retain its very low radar cross-section, but it does not mean it's invisible. As here, for example, I completely forgot there was another Viper while I tried to showboat and actually end up getting locked and shot down. Lastly, here's some notes from Ganelli's team directly from their website. A couple things to note, you no longer need to have a dedicated F-22 pitch access ground. And additionally, there's some reduction of specific pitches as mentioned before for the FCS. Understand that the team's priority right now is still the F-100, but the fact that they were willing to take some time out and update the F-22 based upon the FC-4 changes is huge. If you found this video helpful, Consider liking and subscribing and we'll definitely keep the content flowing. Wrap the dad out. Thanks for watching.